Alrighty, 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 Dior gang, this your girl Malaysia Dior, and I am back with another one, okay? In this one, I'm going to be telling you about all the vitamins I am taking, yay, and um, the total cost of my surgery, and just give you a little more in-depth information about that, so if you're ready to hear about it, keep on watching. <laughs> gentlemen dior gang whatever you want to call yourselves here we go let's jump into it i will give this disclaimer right now please disregard if you see me looking down a lot i have my notes written down so i can tell you all the information that you need to know about all the vitamins that i'm taking my budgeting how much everything in total cost me so far and i'm pretty sure i got a good roundabout estimate of how much everything cost me but I still have to take my labs and everything like that. So, without further ado, let's go and get into it. The vitamins I am taking is vitamin C. Now, vitamin C is for development, for body repair, for absorption of iron, and for wound healing. It helps with all of those things, which is great because you have all these little small incisions where they're doing the lipo and everything like that. So, it helps your body heal itself, basically. And it's also helping me absorb iron, which you will see as I go down this list. I'm taking a lot of things that have iron in them because I am anemic. I have always been anemic. Every time I was pregnant, I've always just had issues with being anemic. My iron is always low. So I'm working on that. That's the reason why I'm taking a lot of things to help my body absorb the iron that I need. Anywho, what's next? Omega-3s. I am taking omega-3s. It is beneficial for the heart and the brain health. I am taking those because, you know, I just want my heart to keep pumping through all of this. I need to, I need to make it out of surgery, okay? Anywho, hemoplex. Y'all got to take hemoplex. If you do not take hemoplex, you have to take Floridex. But Floridex comes in pills and liquid form. I've been told that Floridex is disgusting. And I'm not good with taking things that are nasty. So I take Hemoplex. They, they're not really cheaper than Floridex. I'm not going to lie. Like they are pretty pricey pills, but they're worth it. And this is basically for full blood health. It helps with everything dealing with your blood. It's like blood builders. Boom. So you have to take Hemoplex. Anywho, what's next? Super vitamin. No, wrong bottle. <laughs> super vitamin b complex this has almost all the vitamin b's that there is which is vitamin I don't, b1 b2 b3 b5 b6 b7 b9 and b12 all of these things are to help with energy levels brain functions and cell metabolism i want to keep the body like they're putting fat cells back in your body they take the fat out they separate bad fat from good fat they put the fat cells back in your body and your hips your buttocks or wherever else you choose to have them so i would like to help strengthen the growth of those cells so that i retain as much body fat as i can so that's what these are for what's next beetroot <laughs> these are disgusting <laughs> They are disgusting. I'm not going to lie to you. They smell really bad. They taste even worse. But they are in pill form. And I swallow them now with Boost Plus. I'm taking Boost Plus because I'm trying to gain a little weight as well. So they can have a lot of body fat to work with. Because as of right now, I am at 188. Which takes my BMI to a 27 points. Three or four, 27.4. I think that's where I'm at with my BMI. My goal weight is 200, but I want to gain it slowly and gradually so it can be steady, stubborn fat <laughs> so that it will retain itself. I don't want to get smaller. I'm trying to get wide enough to have my body shape the way that I want. The goal shape that I want, I need to gain a little more weight in my hips and my 
thigh area that I need to get a little more wider. So that's the reason why I'm taking these. These help me gradually gain weight without going crazy. Y'all, I'm sorry. I don't know why this lash just giving me so much trouble. I think because it's holding up this big old bang. But anywho. So I take one of these a day and I just eat normally like I normally eat. And um, with these, I don't really like milk. And these taste like melted ice cream. Which for a lot of people is not bad. But it's not the greatest tasting thing to me personally so i use them to take my vitamins with like instead of drinking water now i use these to take all my vitamins with so that helps me get half the bottle down already and then i'm able to just go ahead and chalk it up and drink the rest of the bottle so it helps me whatever helps me get it down is what i'm looking at it has been helping i've been taking these for about a month now because i am exactly today i am exactly 59 days pre-op so i've been taking these since i hit the 90 day mark so that's 31 days about a month a little over a month i have been taking one of these a day and it has helped me gain weight because when i started i was 175 and now i will when i very first started i was 175 and then when i started taking when i hit the 90 day mark i was about 182 and now i'm 188 um <laughs> Hoping to reach 200, but if not, that's okay. I'm kind of okay with where I'm at, but I'm going to keep taking them anyway just to see where I can go. But I'm not going to go over 200. No, child. Uh -uh. I can't do that. But anywho, so let's move on to the next few pills I'm taking because I am taking a lot. I'm trying to get through this without having this video be extremely long, okay? Okay, I am taking folic which is another word for folic acid. You're going to have to take these, but you have to stop taking these, I think, uh, two weeks before surgery. I think you have to stop taking these. I might go back and look. I wish I would have wrote that down before I started this video. But I'm going to go back and look, and on my next video, I'm going to make sure I tell y'all exactly what you need to do with these. But this right here helps maintain new cells and treats anemia. So that is good for me. I am also taking liquid iron, specifically iron, 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 iron. Um, I'm taking liquid iron. Now, for those of you who have stomachs that don't sit well, I wouldn't suggest this. But for those who, you know, have an okay stomach, you know, take this. It, it's been told that you absorb it quicker when it's liquid. Now, I'm not a doctor. I'm just telling you what I've heard. So that's the reason why I'm taking this because I know I'm anemic, so I'm trying to work on that now. So I take this. It says great tasting is lying. It's, it doesn't taste that great, but it's not unbearable. Like, I can get it down. So that's the reason why I take these. And um, when I go for my 60-day labs, I'm going to see where I'm at as far as iron. And if this is working for me, then I will not be taking Floridex. Sorry. Those bottles are ridiculously expensive. They're like $50 a bottle, or you're probably going to need like two bottles to get through that. These right here are $5 a bottle. I bought three of them. You know, so it is what it is. Even if it doesn't do its job, it's going to help me anyway, because like I said, I'm always anemic, so hopefully this is helping me. I take it every day. You take a teaspoon a day. I take it every day with my pills and my boost. So, hey. I'm starting to feel like I have more energy, I'm more lively, like I don't get as tired quickly. So I think that is helping, but I will let y'all know when I do my labs and get my results back for that. I will let y'all know how this works. Anywho, what's next? Multivitamins, gummies, women's gummies. Y'all know what that's for, just overall women's health. It's for hair, nails, skin, all of that good stuff. I just take those for everything that I may be missing with everything that I'm taking. You know, it helps fill in the gaps. So, those are all the pills that I am taking as of right now. Now, two days, I leave for my surgery on the 4th, my January the 4th. My surgery is January the 6th. So, I'm going to start taking these vitamins the day that I leave for surgery, which is B12. Where is it? I got a lot down here, y'all. Do apologize. But anywho, I don't see it. Oh, right in my face. B12, 
I'm going to take those for energy just to help me get around and I want to have some B12 in my system when it's time for me to take have surgery or whatever. As far as right now, I don't take them because I'm taking um, the super vitamin, super B vitamin. So it's like that has this in it, but I'm going to specifically take these so they help me with energy and being able to move around and all of that stuff. Once I do have my surgery, it'll be dialed it out. Stool softeners. I don't really think I have to explain to y'all why I'm taking stool softeners. I mean, hey, I'm getting surgery on my butt. <laughs> it's going to leave my cheeks hard as a rock. This is just going to help with going to the bathroom. Boom. So I'm going to start taking those two days prior because, I mean... I think it should be common sense. I don't think I have to go into deep detail about that. If I do, you might want to click out this video because, girl, <laughs> I ain't got time. Anyways, now, after surgery, the day of surgery, once I come out, that's when I will start taking these, which is collagen. Now, I don't want to do myself. Tell them to give it to you. Those are my kids. Sorry. Anywho, collagen. Yay, yay. Take this to tighten my skin. It helps with skin elasticity and all of that great stuff. So, and you know what's crazy? It also relieves joint pain and it helps with back and knee pain, which I'm sure I will be in after surgery. So that is what I am taking these for. Lymphatic drops. Yay. These are for um when you have to have you have to have your lymphatic massages. That's what's going to help with your results. You do not hop off the table. Look at how you're going to look in the end. You have to get those massages. You have to drain. You have to do all those things. This helps with that. I just open it, give like four or five, what? I think it's four or five drops. I think it's like four or five drops. If not, I'm sure it won't hurt if you do more. But you just put it in whatever you're drinking, which is probably for me going to be pineapple juice. I'm going to make sure I have that. I'm going to make sure I have water. And I'm going to make sure I have Pedialyte. So, I'm going to put a few drops in those things. It helps you drain, basically. It helps with massages and all of that stuff. It just helps with your health after surgery. Yay. So, I'm going to take those. Now, for pain management... I have Tylenol PM and Tylenol muscle aches and pain. I've been told that the muscle aches and pain are really, really good for surgery because you just feel sore. You feel like you worked out a thousand times and your body is just sore. So this helps with that is what I've been told. And for the PM, I'm going to take these just to help me get some sleep also in case the pain is just too much to manage, you know. So, got those just in case. I'd rather be safe than sorry. And these are for home. They are <laughs> CBD gummies. I've been told that these helps with pain also, but I'm not going to take these to my Emmy with me. I'm going to wait till I get back home, and then I will take these. And yes, if you can tell, I have took some already. I just wanted to see how it would affect me before I started taking these, because this is my first time ever taking these, and it really didn't do much for me. Like, I could tell it relaxed me a little bit. So, hey, I'm going to go with that. Anyways, with the pain, I hope that it helps. If not, they just taste really good and they do relax me to where I get some good sleep. So, that I can't complain about. So, those are all my pills. Yay. And I told you about my lovely boost. Yay, yay, yay. Now, let's get into the portion where I talk about the budget. Okay. Now, for the surgery that I got, I am going to Spectrum Anesthetics. I hope I'm saying that right. Anywho, it is in Miami, Florida. And I am going to Dr. Nadia Jesus. She is a woman and she is really good. I go, I'm going to her. I chose her because she cares more about your health than your results. Now, I want someone who cares about my results. Yes. But I have kids at home that I got to make it back home to. So I need someone that is not going to play games with me. You know, like if something is, if you're, all your ducks are not in a row, she will counsel you quick, fast, in a hurry. And girls be upset by that. But she's trying to save your life. Okay? Like if everything ain't perfectly lined up, the stars aren't aligned and everything is the way it's supposed to be, she'll let you know right there. Like, uh-uh, not today. It ain't going to happen today, sis. Do apologize. And although that makes me nervous, it makes me feel safe. Makes me feel like she's prioritizing my life over vanity. I can't I can't complain about that. She doesn't have any deaths. So I just 
I feel more comfortable with her. Anywho, so I am getting surgery with her. Yay. That surgery includes Lipo 360. It includes two free garments. It includes two free areas of liposuction. And it also has, what else, the five massages. So all of that came up to 4500 Boom. So I also got a recovery package. That's where you get your BBL pillows, your, what else? My 60-day lab work, my 30-day lab work, um, my BBL pillow, my lipo foams, my roller pin, arnica gel, and what else? The triangle. The triangle is the little thing that you put in, like when you have your fire on, you put it in your lower back, it compresses it, so you have that nice little slope for your butt. Okay, you know, <laughs> I need that. Anywho, so I purchased that when I purchased the silver one because they have three different plans. I got the silver one because most of the stuff that is included in the more pricier ones, I got already with my surgery. Like my surgery contract always comes with the two garments and all of that stuff. So it's like no point of paying for that twice. So that was 35 no, not 3500 That was $350. I'm going to be staying at an Airbnb because my best friend is coming with me and I'm so excited. He's going to take care of me. So we got a two bedroom house that we are renting. It is to ourselves. We're not sharing it with anyone else. Yay. And that came to the price of $1,070 and we're staying for nine days because like I said, I will be flying out on the 4th. Surgery is on the 6th, and I will be leaving on the 13th because they request that you stay at least seven days post-op in Miami. And I'm not going to be playing because I'll be seeing these girls fly back day three, day four, and be wondering why your flight is hell because you are not healed, sis. You ain't going to be healed at day seven, but at least you'll be the guy through the worst of it. Like, y'all just be in such a rush to just do things. Like, y'all be wanting to pussy pop after a week off the table. You can't do that. Like, calm down. Give your body some time to relax, sis. Heal first. You got your whole life to pussy pop, okay? So, I will be in Miami for those seven days. I'm not fit to play with these people. <laughs> like, I can't do it. Uh-uh. I love my life. I want to look good, but I love my life. So, I'm not fit to be playing with them. If that's what they suggest, that's what I'm going to do. Period. Anywho, what's next? My flight. I got a flight through Delta. Um, it came up to 335, but I think it's first class. Like I said, I ain't gonna play with these folks. Y'all be hurting and in pain and just sick and weary and whoa. I uh uh I, if I'm gonna be in pain, I need to be comfortable. Take care of me. I also um Went online and registered already, and I applied for wheelchair assistance on the flights back because I have a flight from Miami to Atlanta and then Atlanta to home. So, I need my wheelchair assistance because, like I said, I did not come to play with you all. I'm trying to get this done. Now, I am not the type of person to wait to the last minute for anything, so all that is written down in the book, said, and ready to go. Anywho, what's next? I got a real tool. Me and my uh, best friend, we were just going to Uber where we needed to go because my Airbnb is a two-minute drive from Spectrum and it is a nine-minute walk from Spectrum. So we were just going to walk whenever I felt the need or energy to walk to keep myself moving. Nine minutes is not bad, hopefully. And a two-minute drive, we were just going to take an Uber. But I was like, let me just check and see how much it is to rent a vehicle because... After surgery, I don't think I want to be in an Uber. You know, I don't think I want to be bleeding on somebody's car who doesn't even know they're coming to pick up a person who just had surgery. You know, I want someone that cares. So, anywho, I looked on um, Expedia. I think it's Expedia. Expedia.com, yeah. And I looked up the um, car rental prices, and it blew me. It just blew my mind. Because if you have a regular car, like a um, compact car, hold on. If you have just a regular compact car, um, it was $6 a day. So I was looking and I was like, I see a SUV for $9 a day. I'm going to get this SUV. $9 a day, I'm only staying nine days. That's $81. I mean, 
Come on. And then what's crazy is it only ended up being like 79 and some change. I don't know how they figured that out, but it was 79 and some change, so I rounded up to $80. So you can't beat that for a car for a week, mileage included, all of that. Like, I can't beat that. So my best friend is going to do that, and I end up buying a little inflatable mattress thing that goes in the back of um, SUVs. So I'll be able to lay across the seats and have comfort. See, we got it together. We, go we know what we're doing. Okay. Anywho, so that was $80. Supplies, I got a lot of supplies from the avocado pillow to the zero gravity chair. Like I said, the inflatable for the um, SUV. Plus, when I get back home, I'm not going to be able to sit down for a while. So if I'm riding around or having to do something, I got that so I can lay down in the back seat of my SUV or my boyfriend slash entanglements SUV. <laughs> I'm so messy. Anywho, <laughs> back of his SUV, my best friend, like he doesn't have an SUV. He has a uh, a smaller car, but it still works for smaller cars also. So I want to be comfortable and I don't want to be bleeding on anybody's stuff. Although I doubt I'll be bleeding in, but I still want to be comfortable. So I'm going to use that. It was only like $20 for the thing. So I'm like, I can use that anytime, you know. So I went ahead on and got that. So I'm around my supplies to about $550 because I've been buying a lot of stuff. This goes to for clothes. This goes for the shirts I need, the robes I need. This goes for the medical supplies, everything. I'm going to give an in-depth video about that too. But as far as right now, we're just going over how much it costs in total. So anywho, and I also included the $100 for the COVID test. It's mandatory for, I think, the day of surgery. You have to take the um, COVID antibody test test x spectrum yeah anywho so you have to pay for that i really think they're getting over because whether you pay, whether you pass or fail that they will still give you your surgery so i really just think they're finding a way to get a hundred dollars per person per pop okay but you know i don't work there i don't know but I'm going to pay for it. It's going to get my surgery. So, with everything in total that comes up to a grand total of... I don't know why I always try to do a drum roll. I, it never works. <laughs> it never works out for me. But, anywho, it came up to $6,985. So, you might as well throw that $15 in there because I'm sure I'm going to spend that somewhere if I don't get a thirst buster at Circle K. I'm going to spend that somewhere. So, we're going to say a grand total of $7,000 at the moment. That's how much in total I am paying for my surgery. Yay! So, I don't think that's too bad because there are a lot of places that charge way more just for the surgery. So, I'm very, I'm very okay with the price point that I'm at, especially when I pay for everything that I need. Now, I will have to get massages once I get back home. But I live in Alabama lower part of Alabama so I don't know if there are going to be places where I will be able to go and get those um massages but if not I'm going to make sure that my masseuse show me how to self massage also so I can be up on that but I will be bringing you more information as I get closer to my surgery dates yes honey I love you, I love you too baby Anywho, he just want to be on the camera. He, he ain't fooling nobody. <laughs> Anywho, so I think that is it. That is the basis of what I wanted to tell you all. So I'm very excited. I will be coming to you with another video very soon because I had a whole issue with LabCorp today, honey. So I'm going to have to tell you all about that also. But not right now. This video is long enough. Thank you all so much for watching Please like, comment, subscribe, share, do all of that good stuff. Thank you for all of the support. I really do appreciate it, but I have to go now. Thank you. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. <laughs>